Hi there, welcome to Easy Media Center Setup, and today we're going to have a multimedia extravaganza. If you recall, in the last screencast, we configured our media center in less than 10 minutes. We installed some services on a Mac Mini and uh, some apps in the iPod, and we're going to take advantage of that. In fact, we're doing it right now. Basically, what you're seeing is a stream of a documentary hosted on our media center and streamed to our iPhone 3G over a 3G connection that you can see right there. So basically, you could be sitting in, your, in a cafe, in a transport, and you could easily access your media and see it wherever you are. So, let's stop this. And let's suppose the following scenario. You're cooking on the kitchen and you want to listen to some radio. And we installed these apps <coughs> in the last screencast. So you pick up your iPhone or iPod and to, to tune it to a radio station. Do so, you notice the sound is coming from your iPod? And you want it to come from the living room where it has a much better sound. So by doing this, the sound will come off in your media center. So this feature is powered by Air Server that basically enables your Mac Mini to be an AirPlay receptor. You don't need to buy an Apple TV. You just install the Air Server and it enables the Mac Mini to do precisely that. Why settle for less when you can have more indeed? It doesn't make much sense. So you finish your cooking and uh, you move to your living room and you you are with your iPod and let's say you want to see a TED session. So you fire up the TED app on your iPod and you start watching this video. But you want it to be shown on your HDTV connected to your media center. And there you go. Awesome. So it's pretty easy using AirPlay to broadcast, well, to project any kind of content, like whether it is a video or I sound, to, to your media action. center at home using the and Air that's... Server service. So, we're just going to stop this right now. Let's look at another scenario. You finished watching your TED show and you want to manage your media. To do that, you use your iPod again and an app called Hyper Remote that we have installed. So with Hyper Remote, as you can see, we can basically move around your pointer on screen. So let's manage my media on Plex Media Server. And we're just going to add a new source of videos. Probably, most probably rips that you got from your Blu-ray Blu discs. And we just add it like that. So the Plex Media Manager will basically uh, scan your videos, go to the internet, get some posters, and basically automatically manage your library. We we'll get the synopsis, etc., etc. Let's suppose on this one, I don't like the poster. So I'll want to change the artwork to something more pleasant for me. So there it is. This is Plex Media Manager and Hyper Remote working together. So let's close this. So let's fire up the Plex Client application. The Plex Client allows you to basically watch your movies on your media center. So let's click on that. As you can see, you have the catalog here. And let's start home. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy to start with. This is a 1080p movie being played on your Mac Mini from 2009 of 2.2, 2.3 GHz, if I recall. So, we can stop with this movie. 
And let's move to Plex for iOS. Plex for iOS basically allows you to browse your media library that is hosted in your media center. As you can see, movies and TV shows here. Here are the movies that we saw a while ago. And you also have the TV shows right there, as you can see. So um, we can, for example, play on our media center start playing from our media center something like this here we go play from the beginning so there it is with this tool or this app it's much easier to interact with your media you, you can browse your catalogs with your iPod and um, it makes everything everything simpler everything so we're going to stop this and uh, another feature is channels let's say you want to listen to well to see something from BBC iPlayer so you can install channels like BBC iPlayer you can install Netflix channel Hulu channel uh, MOG uh, you have things for, um, if I recall, Spotify, and basically, as you can see in your iPod, you're browsing the information from BBC. So we can start, for example, this one on my iPod. What Plex does is basically we'll start the channel, and your media center will contact the BBC servers, and then it will stream the whatever is broadcasting to your iPod so your iPod is connected to the media center and the media center streams the data to your iPod so as you can see it will start in a few seconds and there it is so this is pretty awesome and quite easy to get around so suppose that I don't want it in my iPod and let's look, go for another one. I don't want it in the iPod, but I want it to be played in the screen connected to the media center, which in this case is a, an HD TV. And there it is. So I'll just put the sound a bit lower. And um, let's move to another scenario. Cars. Why is it that we are... The scenario we're going to have right now is, let's say my wife wants to watch some movies on her MacBook. And she's in the living room. Well, she's in the room. So we can go here. This Plex line is connected to the media center, and she can browse the movies as well. So we could, for instance, start home here. And you will start streaming. And there it is. Now let's suppose that I'm also on the office and want to access some media. So I'll just fire up Flex Client. The frustrations of driving and And I can go, for instance, to TV shows. This is also connected to our media center. And uh, I want to see something. I just want to follow up Planet Earth. Drivers. There it is. So we go we have BBC iPlayer and uh, two movies being streamed. So what we're going to do right now is why not get another phone? So with this phone, it's also connected to our home network. 
and we'll start playing. And what you're going to do is to watch a movie from here. Or are we all suffering from some kind of collective amnesia? Those journeys were fraught with tension and vomit and sweets and arguments and hell, really. Well, my dad, his idea of a holiday was bursting into our room at three o'clock in the morning, going, come on kids, get in the car, we're going away. And we were just by four and it will start in, the morning, in any car, moment. Going to and meanwhile, while we wait, here is the iPhone that was connected that over 3G. Long, long and we want to stream audio from iTunes, wait, from our media center, over 3G to this iPhone. The hands, smack, then you smack your brother, yeah. As you can see, we you're already seeing Looney Tunes. Very meticulously, because there was so much stuff to take, and there was a specific order that it had to go in, and we had a diagram of the boot of the car which showed what had to go where. So, and, um, I'll just so go to channels, I go to iTunes channel, I want to listen to some acid jazz. The Happy Eater, that was brilliant with the, with the man pointing to his mouth and they always had a little climbing frame outside for the kids. Yeah, that was great. There was a Happy Eater on the way to Brighton. I remember the little chef. Yes, saw some money a joke. <laughs> One of my first jokes, I think, was Julian Clary saying, um, let's pop into a little chef. He didn't seem to mind. Over yeah, 3G. Yeah, nightmarish, really. So, and it, they, they seem there to you go. For, for hours, and I mean, I drove to Devon, not just the other day, it only took two and a half hours. It felt like we were in the car for about six months back then. It was ridiculous, but obviously we were Meanwhile, there. we also get... Oh, no. And I was car sick, and it was... Our iPhone here. Oh, awful. With, and awful. And we want to do something else. We want to go to our library. And that say, please stop. Tell see me Casablanca from the iPod. And there it is. So I'll put it here. It's a great game, which, you know, and you can enjoy the entire setup. So here it is, everything plays. So I hope you enjoy it. And in the next screencast, we're going to uh, streamline uh, remote, well, streamline our remote control. So you can also uh, control our devices such as set top boxes and um, all sorts of things. So see you next time. I hope you enjoy it and have fun. Bye bye. My monitor would change to a load of noise. So we get in the journey to Bournemouth for something that would be 28,723 miles, but that would say it's a very good chance that we're going to 29,000 on this trip. And the excitement of all the noise changing to noughties.